Okay. I think we're a little bit more than halfway. Okay, so we have a couple, probably about five or six games. Under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball Ooh. on the show. A good matchup here for you. Tampa Bay still. I just now don't want to be on a terrible ass team. Well, he'll get us started in this one under the lights. Kansas City, who was doing great, and I was traded to Baltimore. Way to left center. Santana handles it for the now I was on the Cubs, who was doing great, then traded the Rockies, who I thought would be a great team. Next Turns up, out the face suck in the second. I'm on Tampa no Bay and opening is one of those Tampa Bay is really especially with the only 99 well overall in pitcher the in the game. I think I Blake Snell. Well off the plate for a ball. 73 degrees our game time temperature here tonight, and it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that. One and two, here it comes. At the ball. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. This is Fire a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Rafael Devers goes down for out number two in the top half. And that'll bring up JD, JD Martinez. Martinez. Hey. Looks at a fast corner. It's in there for strike one. Oh, and one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And inside corner. Behind oh, and two. Get him on a slider. A little well, bit that's off the outside. The it's one and two. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, d Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, oh, he wanted a curve. He say, got a slider. Right. Back there because that's <laughs> not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. Swung on. That and time we got a curve. That's the final out of the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Boston nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll really start things the out in the top half of the second. Xander Bogarts. Field in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ooh. Second the inning begins. Oh, I got away with that one. Misses here. It's one and zero. And it's fouled away. Bogarts, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. This is his tenth season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. to deal on a ball and two strikes and he fouls this one off get him a slider Ooh. that was a good slider hey now standing in Alex Verdugo as he'll get his first opportunity in this one line hard toward right center and two quick outs here in the second Next 
might still be Jose Osuna to work on keeping this top the of the baseman, second alive. Jose. Fly ball out to straightaway right. I got it, I got it. Renfro is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Down in order. Striding in for Boston, for Christian Boston. Vasquez. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. 0 oh, 1 the count. Now here it comes. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this. Well, it's going to hit the wall. Right field. And that is off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. This right here is the difference between an average hitter and a very good hitter. The average hitter probably doesn't do anything with that pitch, but this guy goes down and gets it, muscling it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Jackie Bradley Jr. is at the plate as he looks at ball one. I got one ball, one strike. Vasquez stands at second with no outs. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Second. in time at first for route number two. Now the Red Sox DH. Eric Castro, because he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working that Greg Maddox. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the tying run is in the score from third. It's one to one. Rafael Devers, the Perfect. next bat. In there, now the throw. Oh. And ah. he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. We're back with more from the Grapefruit League after this. Here now is Rafael Devers. We begin Leading the top the of the fourth. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. First offering on its way. Whoa! Now look out! One and that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. Not at all what I wanted. Hey. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Fastball called strike one and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Ball, that so pitch is out. Balls and two strikes now. Slider inside here. The no, that didn't. Right that was not inside. Enough. Well. Gone to lead off the inning. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Not inside in at all. Damn, he hit that far as hell. Jesus. Hey, get ahead, say, now that is left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez. Wasn't even a... At least far as for an off speed. On the outside part of the plate for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Nope. Can I have done a fastball and watched on the one and one. Jack one. Pitch on the way. Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. With a slider again. Can we get movement in the outside here? No error oh, the Red Sox to this point. Slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. 
Ooh. End of a coast ditch. Be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. He loses him on ball four. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Xander Bogarts. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled away. Nobody out, runner on first. Oh, now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't oh. quite catch the bottom of the zone. One hey. and two to the Boston shortstop. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. The second out. for one. Relay to Olsen, and they turn the double play. Base is empty now after the double play. And standing in the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Yes, yeah. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll post into second here with a two-out double. As the pitching coach heads out to the mound, I think this is probably just a case of giving your guy a chance to catch his breath, pump him up a little bit, let him know that he's got it under control. To the plate now, Jose Osuna. Hey! The first pitch to him is in there for okay. a cold strike one. Okay. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Two out here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Ooh. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one to the bottom of inning. Ladies Blake Snell will come on and make please. his ninth appearance. All right. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. 5 2, the final score tonight. So Ladies and Number gentlemen, 23 will take please. the ball now as the new now pitcher. Pitching for Tampa Bay. Number 23. Ready for another shot now. To Oscar Hernandez. He went down on strikes no last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. And dead. The 1-0. Hits it high oh, and deep out to center field. Eaton going back. <laughs> and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. This is an all over on the back. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever's oh, worst a nightmare game. and a big confidence oh, boost in the lineup. Let's Very see if he can rebound. Oh, oh, ball, no strikes to count. Ball and a strike. One and one. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can down. be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Turned on down the line. Scooped up and he'll step on oh. first himself for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Alex Kirilov. Now batting. He was sat First down baseman. on strikes in his last Alex. at bat. Kirilov. First delivery to him on the way. 
Ball. That's in ball. Fact. Close, but ultimately ruled a ball. Yeah, one and one oh. And this oh, is off the outside ball corner. Two. Ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's wow. count. Hit hard to the right me. side. Anywhere I want to right now. Ready to deal. Here's the 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two two. I think balls. it's about time two to strikes. choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Doesn't chase after the count. splitter and Three, he works two. it back to a full count. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Stepping now in now, Reese McGuire. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Whoops, excellent. I just had two points. It's a ball and a strike. Kirillov. Runner at first with one gun in the inning. A one and one ball, two count to the Blue Jay signal caller. Ball. ball two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. Right it counts now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Right side. Come on. Way to get get the first. Out. Not there fast enough. The first is too late, so no double play, but no run scores. Nice play by the first baseman right there on a dive, and have the wherewithal to get up and cut the lead runner down. Terrific play. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Kevin Beecher is one for yeah. two in this Second one. Baseman. And he starts Kevin. the number eight hitter with a strike. Vigio. Nothing in one. Third baseline. Oh, look at the sliding stuff. Oh, okay. That. It's a run on two hits, one left. Seventh inning coming up. The Jays lead it three to one. Your Michael Gibbon is out from the now bullpen here, so he'll be making his fifth appearance. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with a victory and look on to the next one. A one run game this afternoon, Pants three to two, the final two. the bullpen. You're at number 23. Please. He's ready now and he'll take the ball the from the manager. Number 23. Digging in, Zach Green. He looked to bounce Warriors. back after striking out his last time up. Zach. This one doesn't look Green. good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a Here bunch go, in on. the eighth and ninth inning. Baltimore again. And that misses one, one and one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy. And this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Hey, no outs now. A ball and two strikes. I got the count. One and two. Ball, that's and low. a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Fastball ah. called. Strike three. And there's the first down of the inning. Anthony Santander, the next to the bat. Left fielder, number Ready with the first pitch. Here Anthony. it comes. 
Chop this one right side. He's got it. I could be able to speed him there. Now batter. Into the box now. Number DJ four. Stewart fouled off. A hit and two tries for him so far. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Santander stands at first with one out. Another one sent foul. Ooh. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're the always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Throw to second for the He's first out. out, and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles. They still trail here. It's six to two. Tyler Duffy complete. is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 21. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can post with a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Eight to two is how this one ends today. The Tampa Bay Rays took the lead in the fourth and the held on until the end. Afternoon baseball here. Stepping in, Ozzy Albies. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Atlanta. The second ah. baseman. Fastball on the Ozzie. inside corner, and he takes Aldi. a look at strike one. First pitch, 105. Albies with a one-and-one one one. count now. Our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees, 89 degrees Aye. to be exact at first pitch. He's a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Ground ball left side. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He He's is up. out. Next to bat for Atlanta, Keon Sorensen. The He'll get to take his first Keon. cuts here. Out Sorensen. in front of it, strike one. Ah. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole. Oh, and, two. and set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't Come on, I'm just not fast enough, man. The hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Zero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're it's looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone nope. fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking. Are you serious, Blue? Runner goes for second. Yeah. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Offline ah. throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Ball. And that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Two out, nobody on. Where's the first here? Good battle. Count remains full. A 
and he nope. takes ball four, ball four. So you got to be shitting me you know, <laughs> this fucking at least man you hate to give up a two out walk to anybody but especially to Jesus a Christ to blue he's running here. not giving me Good these luck. damn Good calls ball no strikes that's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I... And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And the next that in is Johan Camargo. He offers at it and Johan hits it in the air to left. Camargo. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for Atlanta. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. The shortstop. Dansby Swanson. coming here it is tried to check it and it's 0 and 1 0 and 1 hey strike two called on the inner half 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch and he'll take this to the bag himself and the leadoff man set down to start the second Riding forward now is that the DH, is Christian Pache, as he'll get his Christian first opportunity in this Pache. one. Hey. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Hit hard on the ground to third, right to him. And quickly, there oh. are two away. Stepping in for the Braves, Benito Batista. The right He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's a ball. Didn't quite Batista. catch the zone there. Ball Counts one. one. Right, here we go now. Line drive to left. That gets down, and the inning continues. So a two-out knock, and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Hey. Trying to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights man. it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job one by one. the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the, the plate, and the count one moves and two. to one and two now. And it's fouled away. The one-two. Slider taken for a ball. I got to catch this working through a quick inning. That's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Hey, after back to back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate. A crooked number going on. Now, that's. So up steps Ozzy Albies, and it's grounded Aldi. just foul down the line. Looking to make it three straight two-out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to... And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Two left for Atlanta. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. New inning set to get underway. At the plate, Keon Sorensen. Keon Sorensen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey! Wind up and the 0 1. Oh, ball, that's out. Eight, two. Swing 
swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. Um, no. Uh, times in a row. So essentially, I, guess sort of used that reverse psychology I have dynamic ump on, so you could throw one that's in the strike zone. And the up says the ball. The first pitch and it into foul territory. Same thing as well. I could throw one that's like out here. One down, one down. And the up might call the strike. The o and one. So you, it doesn't need to be completely inside. Hey, all right. here we go now. And the slider gets like if he wouldn't have swung at that, it's possible. But no better way maybe the up calls a bad strike there. A cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Now batter. Get the ahead of him right here. Freddy. Freddy. I'll try to throw Here's one. First baseman, Freddy Freeman. Play poor line. She'll take ball, a look at ball one. Down. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch okay. out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Bounce this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is to right field. Well, that wasn't at all where I wanted that ball. And this one is gone. A home run. No surprise with that. Freeman, he is going to do that. One of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Sends that one out of play for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the 0 1. Like that one right there. That one is Two out, nobody on. just on the plate. Protecting on 0 and 2. Oh, that so we'll do it again. Like that is barely on the plate. At the ball. And he misses there. One and two. One ball. Love the high two heater out. right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Now a swing so with dynamic on, he'll nine call nine things that are questionable the either way. The so just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Braves one. The Rays nothing. Matt Vaskersian, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson, the first to bat here in the inning. Here it comes. Lifted down the line in left. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Towards second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Coming forward now is the Braves designated now, hitter, designated Christian Pache. He's Christian. 0 for 1 after grounding Pache. out. If I was a uh, batter, I would just simulate strikes to count. this. Uh, the hell? That ball to I would simulate this guy's been raking lately. spring training. Starts with his pitch selection. But as a pitcher, this actually does help me if I can get the ball over the damn plate. There we go. Killing me, Blue. Now to the plate, Benito. He sucks. He singled his last time up. Fouled away. Batista. Got it. Oh, the fastball. Do a splitter there. He's in well ahead of the throw. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Count is one and two now. Ball two. two balls and two strikes now. Two two to count. Ooh, that was a good outside that time laid off for a ball. That was questionable. Vladimir Piedra will be next. There it is. Fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. 
Hey, come on. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Off to Atlanta. Infield the shifted baseman. well to the right. Ozzie. Here's the first pitch. Albies. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there. Yeah, they're, they're very normal in baseball for the most part. For uh, MLB. Especially in the video game, in the what the game will give you, the actual video game. Oh, okay. It'll give you circumstances that kind of force you into make it or break it moments. You might have some unrealistic things, especially when you're out in the field and you have to bat. It'll put you in circumstances where maybe you're losing. And they want you to be able to get a hit that takes the lead or something. They'll put more situation. In real life, yeah. Most of the games stick around. I'd say between five and ten runs. About the average, I think. Wonder. Is the average? Three runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Come on now. Yeah. The average game is about eight runs a game between both teams. The like gate and a half, so. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw. But you can have circumstances where teams can combine for 15 or 20 runs and it just gets out of hand because of pitching. Not great. Or the bats are just on. Again, he sends it out of play. Two, two. Oh, I'm still in this game. The stamina is bad. Digging in once again, Johan Camargo. He flew out in his last at bat. Third baseman. Hey, two away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now it checks swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Yeah, in, in real life, just as long as the ball hits any part of the plate, doesn't have to be completely over it or not, it'll it's strike. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straight away right. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. But you can also have some circumstances where the you know, calls it away and it's actually a ball. Or he calls it the other way and it's actually a strike. It's all human air in real life. You got an ump looking at a 80 to 100 mile an hour ball. It gets there in about three to four seconds, if that. He's got to make a decision on it's a ball, ball or strike. This should be the last one. Spring training. Afternoon baseball here. Digging in, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half. You still get the bat. Yes. For the Pirates, the second baseman. See, there's one that's kind of iffy. Inside corner. Oh. Trying to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Meadows has it, and there's one away. So the 
the next to the plate for Pittsburgh. Adam Frazier. Frazier. He'll get to take his right first field. cuts here. Adam. Sent on the ground out to Frazier. second. And he'll whip oh. this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Digging in now, Brian Reynolds. First cuts for Batting him third. here with the bases open. The and two away. Brian. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave um, the dish tonight. One of the best no, the catcher can drop every single ball. The only thing that matters is if it's a third strike, the catcher doesn't catch the uh, strikeout ball. The runner can move forward, but typically in, in real life, essentially... You have signs, though, like that index finger he gave is the game's way of saying, hey, I'm giving you a sign. Real life-wise, their signs are much more complicated. The signs aren't like, hey, give me the third pitch. It'd be like, give me the third pitch in this location. Catcher kind of knows where the ball's going. And it's one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Um, I want to say when it comes to the game-wise to get to the All-Star game, the game cares more about wins in ERA, I think, which is earned runs. Real life wise, you'll have what's called a whip, which is walks, hits per inning, which is essentially how many hits and walks you do. And so some of that comes into play in that, but the average is normally around one. So. If you have an, a whip that's under one, you're a very good pitcher. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Yeah, if they're outs, Into the it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count the hit. He'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Meadows moving back. He gets there, and that's the second out. Stepping in, Drew Avens. That he takes his tough. first cuts in this no one with a man in first and two away. Strike one. No, a hit is only counted if the guy actually gets on base. That was not where I wanted. Like, this is going to be a hit. It's probably going to be a double or an RBI. Yep. No, 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 don't throw that. That's a double, so that's a hit and, an R and a run bad in. Yeah, if it's not within the uh, lines base, then foul ball. It goes outside the park. In the dugout. Like one that did earlier, you gotta love that well, if it's the game right before this, much, but when it the does, home run. Oh, you know the one. Good ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be... Okay. have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. So a run on two... Oh, you're swinging at that. All right. Number 23. Big Jack one here. Oh, I like that one. I got under it. Yeah, your accuracy drops. Do you have your energy, which your accuracy will drop as your energy, and then you'll lose speed on your pitches as well. And then your confidence also can affect the actual meter itself and your location of your pitches. You also have stats that I'll look at at the end of this game, after this game. It kind of dictates what your accuracy is. 
so. Like your control and whatnot. Standing in, Kevin Newman flied out in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. Fouled off. Newman. Back out of here with that garbage. That was a bad, bad pitch. But all right, got lucky with that. I hung that one way too far up the plate. Here's Adam Frazier. He'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Into center field, line drive, base hit. In now, Brian Reynolds. And on the first pitch, Number he grounds ten. foul. 0 for oh, yeah. 1 here in the early going. Reynolds. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Oh. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. Team is going to be like the Rockies, where it's the opposite. Team can't run scores, but the pitching is great. The Rockies could run could score, but the pitching was bad. Uh, it's when it comes to. Uh, yeah, Maddie, it's always a little oh, frustrating man. when you score. Spring training, yeah. Solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is you jog back. But normally I just follow the pitches and I do the my own location. Unless myself I want to like mix up the location, I'll just see where he wants it. Like for example, I never normally do sliders in the inside. They always end up there, and that was just a fraction of the fact that that was a bad, accurate, bad accuracy on that throw. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Hey guys, that was a nice job by the batter right there. He's able to get his front foot down early. And I'm not used to where curveballs go yet in this game, so I'm still kind of looking at that. as well as splitters. So. When he says I want a fastball or something like that, I know we'll put a quick bounce. Three one, the count to the pirate shortstop. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count his favorite three and one. Three and two now. Three one down there. What a bad decision. I would have put it up, but. Alright. was a good pitch. At least he was competitive. First base is open. Walk would be the worst thing in this spot. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. Oh, yeah, on the bottom? Yeah, that's where the runners are on base. One to nothing. The batter. Number Next to hit will be the pitcher. Number 23. He's 0 for 1. Should this far. I should have hit that. I did not like that, though. That was a ball. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Five. Oh, this is where you have to be really aggressive. One and two count on an American League pitcher that rarely bats. Go right after him. Inside. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all. But, hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Got to protect there. Yeah, that was a strike. And have a choice there. Luke Maley. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. 
the catcher. But this is spring training wise, so what that means is essentially it's like preseason and football. But each team can carry 40 players. So majority of the guys that I'm facing are not guys that would actually be pitching against in the regular uh, season. Or just to put on the 40 man roster. You can bet they'd love ball I think you can have that gives the pitcher on deck an situation. I miss that one. I think you have 30 at the majors at the same time. And the pitcher is in fact bunting here as he puts this one down. One there. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Now Kevin back. Newman Second it was backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at oh. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. So they breeze through. Your Blake Snell please. enters to do the pitching now, in the yeah, final. should be season. it. Well, this for Cactus League. In the end, these no, the, the I thought they always caught last. Cost less energy, but just on the meter, it just dictates how fast it is. So if you're in the yellow, uh, for an off-speed pitch, you'll have more movement, but not more speed. And then for your fastballs, you want it the meter up in the red because it's going to be faster. But the fastball I have has no movement on it, so it doesn't matter. The only way of bar changes on the meter is if I want the fastball to be slower. No movement on it. Okay, spring training came to an end. We were 11 and 15. Jesus. This is going to be a struggle. This is going to be a struggle. Okay, who'd they keep? Obviously, Blake Smell, best pitcher in the league. Ranger Burrow, Glasgow, which I think Glasgow is pretty decent. Yeah, he's 28. He's still trending up. Burrows is 28. He's trending up. Burrows is 30, so he's going to start trending down. Schnell is so good. It'll take a while for him to trend down. Nick Anderson. They had 45 close games last year. At least. So. Nice ERA. Nice whip. Okay. But at least they won a decent amount of games last year, right? 18 and 7. 11 and 8, 14 and 7, 9 and 13. We sucked it up. We were 4 and 6. Um, Not bad, but if Snow took in 18 games, they'll pitch 215 innings, which is good. 2.51 ERA, which is great. I think he won the Cy Young in 2008. He won the Cy Young last year. The 2.51 ERA won the Cy Young. Because the game only cares about wins.
Adam Eaton. Watched him play the four in real life. Decent player. I'm thinking of Deems, 26, okay, young guy. Austin Meadows, okay. This young team, Matt Olson, that is a good, good signing. Ringo Santana. This is a very young team besides Hunter Runfro coming over from, uh... no, Runfro is on the Rays this year. The captain. Greg Jones, they draft. Ooh. Draft this guy. He looks good. Okay. Was it Peralta? No. Peraza. Peralta's a pitcher. Okay. Benny Pena from the Brewers. More of a. Bench guy. Okay, that's that's a decent one. Who do we even have in our division? Red Sox, Blue Jays, Yankees. Oh, Jesus, the Yankees. Um, I. In real life, yes, but in the game. I think just as long as you stay to a certain overall, you'll always be up in the majors. Which is weird, but. That's right, they're in. Right here. There's Sale. Yeah, this is gonna be. Then they brought in Michael Walker, the Mets this year. He didn't pitch very, he didn't pitch great. For a sale, only 10 wins. He must have been, but still 200, so he didn't get a lot of uh, wins. Okay, that's weird. And yeah. Yankees, Garrett Cole, 16 wins, still 200. Yeah, uh, I'm in a tough division. They beat up Cole last year, though, 4.16 ERA. Severino's 28. He only got nine wins as well. Good ERA, though. Hurt. I think James Paxton was probably hurt. Beat around. Mashiro Tanaka. Same thing. Us. Not really worried about the Blue Jays. We're in the same division as the Sox. No, 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 no. They're in the same one with the Indians. The same one with Baltimore. At least we only have the worst team division. Baltimore was a terrible team. They brought him up last year into the majors. Or he got hurt. Yeah, I'm not worried about them. Okay, let's see how bad the lineups are. Orioles, just Rashman, who's how they probably drafted. 
Not a strong team. Raphael Beavers, that's going to be pretty bad. He batted a 277 last year. Only home runs 19. About his average was 63 RBIs. A little on the low end for him. JD Martinez at 285. 115 RBIs, 42 homers. Yeah, Boston's good. With Bogertz. With Christian Valdez. Or uh, Valquez. Brought over Asuna from the Pirates. Better at a 250. Jackie Bradley Jr. is super fast. I uh, isn't in this one. Okay. The Yankees are going to be an issue. Douglas. Yeah, Tr Rumsky. Yastrom. Wow. Yastromsky. Rookie, they brought brought up. A, does he have any time? Oh, yeah, there's the MLB service up there. No, never been up there. Judge. This is the Yankees division to lose. The hell? Um... Y'all messed up this roster. Wait. I think this is jacked up. They, they, there's no way in hell they traded him. They seriously trade him? Houston is going to be one. With Javier Baez as well? Jesus. Houston doesn't win. Four All Stars. Technically, five All Stars. With Jose Martinez. And Carlos Correa. Jeez, wow. I don't know what to say to that. They traded him. The Jays traded their best player in Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Wow. But yeah, you can pretty much write off. Blue Jays. I don't see them doing jack shit. Panic is 31. Yep. I honestly think it's going to be between the Red Sox and the Yankees with us trying to compete. For that issue, who do we have to play against? And let's just say the Astros win the West. And maybe the White Sox win the Central. Eight 
AC looks decent. Winds look pretty well rounded too. It's gonna be a run for the uh Wild card. Jesus, the Angels. I forgot about the Angels. Okay, this is going to be some issue. If we're going to fight for a wild card spot, and that... I don't know how well that's going to work. I don't want to play next. I just want to go to calendar. It only increases it by two. We need to get our speed so we can get over the first faster. Two and two. We lost a series to Baltimore with Snell on the mound. Jesus. The best pitcher in the league cannot even win that. Ever only get, gives up three runs. Our bullpen gives up the rest. Well, that's going to be one that we'll have to start with. That's Toronto. At least that's maybe a win. Need... 